Hey guys, this is the OC again, uh, bringing you a quick little uh, rendition on how to do anything online with OWL, online web learning. Uh, this is that uh, online system I was telling you about. In fact, we'll probably switch some of our homework over to doing uh, uh, some of our problems in uh, OWL. Uh, I'll probably split like half written, half not, um, but we'll talk more about that later. Let me show you how to use OWL. Um, it has some really cool tools, and I think you're going to really appreciate it if you actually use it for for all it's worth, because you know I, we, you know I kind of took money out of my pocket to buy this for you, and I wanted to, um, so I hope you use it. I think it's really cool. Um, is it perfect? No, there's I've never found an online system that's perfect. Um, does it sometimes frustrate us? Of course, but so do uh, book problems because you can't get answers right away. Um, but this system is great. It's going to give you instant feedback. It's got a lot of good tutors. Um, let, let, let's dig into it and let's take a look at it because. Let me show you the awesomeness of I, why I think it is actually useful, okay? So let's take a look at my screen. Uh, what I have here is uh, uh, a lot of you have received the code and the PDF directions. Uh, they will get you to the point that you can get this page up. When you get to this page, my suggestion is bookmark it, okay? Favorite it, whatever you call it. Um, you know, in Chrome, I hit this little star button. Uh, if it's Internet Exploder you're using, it's a, it's a favorite. You hit a little star-looking thing too, okay? Whatever it is. Just favorite this because you can start here every time, okay? And you would log in here like I would, you know, and type stuff in, okay? I'm already logged in, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my other tab. When you first log in, you should get a page like this. But By the way, if you don't, it's because you're in a page like this to start off with, and you just click on AP Chemistry 2010, uh, sorry, 2012, 2013. So now that you're logged into that, what you want to do now is, uh, now it's time to go ahead and uh, play with this. So uh, this tells you, you know, who, who your instructor is. Go figure. I'm teaching it. Uh, man, crazy. Period one. Weird. Hey, that's my room. Hey, that's the book we're using. All right. Um, biggest thing is announcements will be here. Um, and then here's the assignment calendar. That You really want to pay attention to this. If there's a red thing, that tells you there's something due that day. And that's like the big time, big thing you got to know. Okay. Um, so you can click on, oh, my God, 24 assignment to do. Okay. Uh, when you click on that day, it'll tell you what is, it'll give you your current assignments, okay? It's going to give you them all, okay, that are due. So if you go down this list, it's going to sort them by due date, okay? And it's going to show you all, the required ones and the not required ones. Um, o means optional, R means required. So that means the way you, what you need to do is you need to click on it. So let's say I'm ready to do homework 1.1a. I just click on it. It tells me uh, the information page. I have three questions. Okay, tells me uh, the types. It's a question. It's not due yet. It's required. All right. So now uh, I can read the info page. It'll tell me a little bit about information I'm going to do. Okay, good. Learning resources tells me where in the book I can find information about this. Um, tells me information I need to know. Okay. I'm ready to do question one, so I click on one. All right. So it asks me a question. You know, at this uh, radon, it's a gas, water is a liquid, salt is a solid. Uh, to the particles that are in contact but move relative to one another. Uh, that would be the liquid phase. So that's sea salt. State it's highly compressible. That's a gas. I can check my answer. Oh, man, look. I'm. That's what I get for going so quick. So I did something wrong. So it tells me what I did right and what I did wrong. I got this question wrong. Okay. So I move on. Look at these illustrations, and we're good to go. As long as you get two out of three of these right, you're good to go. You don't need to. So if you got one and two correct, you're good to go. If you got one through three all wrong or one and two wrong, then what you're going to need to do is you need to go back to the assignment list. You're going to need to click on this again, uh, and you're going to need to restart. Okay. Uh, that's, only, that's one thing I don't like about it is the fact that once I get one wrong, so like if I choose all these as, you know, uh, like that, then the problem is you can't just click back on this. You, yeah, you got to go back to the assignment list. Yeah, you got to click on it because it, it resets up the question for you. Um, so uh, you do need to go back through it in order to take the list. So do the questions, and if you get them wrong, you, you have to go back and redo the whole thing. And the only way to do that is to go back to the assignment list and then click on the assignment again. Okay. Um, again, perfect? No. Better than not getting instant feedback? I think so. All right. Um, I can't vouch for all these questions being perfect. I can't test them all, obviously. And this is only the second year I'm using it. So if you run into a problem that you think you should have gotten something right on, 
email me. Let me know. Because that means there could be something wrong now. And just let me know. I'll fix it. Okay, we'll take a look at it. All right. Because I can go and look at all your attempts. Uh, and see what you did wrong and what you did right. And that actually is good because then you're like, man, OC, I know I'm doing this right. You come in the next day, you say, hey, question number 1.1a, I know I'm doing question number two right. And the second time I did it, I know I got it right. So what I do is I, we can sit down, I can pull your second attempt up, and we can look at it. right? And by the way, I do not judge people on them doing their attempts. So don't worry. Okay. Uh, most attempts are very unique to every person. So uh, no two people usually get the same exact problem. All right. Okay. So, uh, that's how, that's how you do it. Uh, if you want to do these O's, you can, you don't have to. The tutors are kind of nice because they're a little more than just a problem. They're usually a flash thing that has a lot more information in it and, and definitely tells you, uh, also tells you some information to help you out. So tutors are really helpful if you're struggling with the topic, but I don't require them because they generally take a little bit more time. Okay. And I'm not here to kind of make your life harder. I'm really just here to help to, to give you those tools to make life easier for you. Okay. So this is key. Uh, this is part of your grade, okay? And you need to be able to get um, a good grade by doing these, all right? So, uh, by the way, and you might say, oh, well, I don't want to do any the require anything but the required. There's a little option here. It says show only required assignments. So you could do that. So you could look at what's due first. Then I can see these are due later and move on from there. Some of these only take a minute. Some of them take three to four minutes, okay? Some of them may take longer as time goes along, but maybe the, the quantity I give won't be as much, okay? So do take a look at these, play with them, use them. They're there for you, okay? Um, so what else can I do? Well, I'll have your grade set up. Right now, I don't have the grade book set up, but you'll go in here and be able to look at your grades through here as well, okay? Don't worry about clicker registration. Not for you right now, okay? So really, all you need to do here is assignment list, assignment calendar, all right? Um, you can send me a message from here. I suggest sending it to me through the email. Uh, I don't think I'll check on here as much, but if you do, I will try to check them in here. Okay. So what else is on here? Boy, all of this homework. Well, yeah, that's a big portion of it, but here's the cool thing. Number one, all the tables that you need are found here. Okay. You go down here to chemistry tables and they have all the tables. Okay. Periodic table, constants, you don't know what these are, but they're here. Reduction potentials. Oh, we're getting scared. Okay, but all your tables are here. So the periodic table, right there. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay. Um, you know, constants table, maybe you need Avogadro's number listed again. Right there they are. Okay. So that's a nice link. The whole book is online. Okay. Now, I'm getting blocked here. My apologies for this. I had this unblocked before I did the demo. Um, but... Uh, it's unblocked it, at home. It won't be blocked for you. And the whole book, look at that. The whole book is online. Okay. So if you like reading online, great, man. Right there it is. Every problem, every question is online. Okay. All right. So you can literally go next page. Uh, you can rotate them if you want them. Uh, but you can sit here and just go page to page to page and do every next question online if you want to do. Uh, everything's online. Uh, you can zoom in, you can zoom, you know, real far. Oh, look at that. I can go real far out. Uh, you can set this, you know, if you only want to be at, you know, 100%, but if you actually, you know, 112%, maybe that's what you want. I don't know. But that's all there. Cool. Okay. So that book is there for you. Okay. All right. All right. So, book. Uh, go chemistry. Uh, this has a lot of cool things. Um, if you just want some basic uh, videos, on some quick things that you are interested in predicting ion charges, the mold, things like that. You can also download them in MP4 format. So like if you wanted more information on the mold, for instance, you could watch it online and it's got all this stuff. But the cool thing is if you hit save here, it'll let you save the zip file that you can then extract out the MP4 and load that on like your iPod, uh, Android, or anything like that. All right. If you have trouble with that, let me know. All right. Uh, think well videos. These are really neat. They're all online. Uh, I like them. Uh, so if you're having trouble with significant figures, there's a whole online course on, uh, significant figures. So you can actually look on here. It'll take some time to load. It literally is a I guy video. Chill. Um, it's this guy who does uh, videos the whole time and he talks about significant figures. He's got little key idea section here. A little, did you know videos pop up over here, little animations, things like that. And then there's a video of the guy and you control, uh, all that. All flash, all for you, lots of lessons, okay? Lots of them, okay? Do you need to look at them? That's up to you, man. 
I'm here to give you the tools not to do it for you, okay? You may, for some stuff, say, man, I'm still having trouble with periodicity, so maybe I should watch this video, okay? I'll never require a video, but they're there for you, man. That's what I bought this for, okay? So, key things to get out. Uh, your course home uh, is good. Your course home is going to have your announcements and your calendar. Calendar is going to have all the different assignments you need to look at when they're due. Okay, remember 12 a.m. is midnight, so if something's due at midnight, the 21st. That means if I think I'm if I'm on the 20th, that means midnight of that day coming up, aka midnight of that night coming up. Uh, so don't forget that. A lot of people mess that up. Uh, if I want to show only required, I can do that. Click on assignment. Click on the questions, tells me a little info about it, start doing the questions. Check the answer. Once I feel happy about what I got, life's okay. All right. Um, and so then I uh, can, uh, after that, I can use my tables, ebook, okay, go chemistry videos, and the think well videos. Okay. All here for you. I'm trying to make this as palpable for you and as accessible as it is for you. If you have any troubles, please let me know. You should be getting a code in the mail for me. If you haven't, you're going to have to buy one. But if you're my student, you've already gotten. You're going to get one. Okay? All right. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Later.